Well, good morning and welcome to day 18 on our Fasting for Miracles journey. I can't believe we only have a few days left together. And if you're like me, I am pressing in for everything I am believing God for. Some of my miracles have already come to fruition and some I'm still waiting on. And if you're like me, you went on this journey because you really had some things in your life you wanted God to do. You need miracles manifested in your life, just like I do and you were asking God for that. But you know, I wanna just stop a moment and begin to think about what is a miracle? I know we've defined it and we've talked about it and it's pressing in for things that you can't do on your own. It's divine manifestations. Uh, it's something so big that it's beyond your ability. But if I asked you, what's the biggest miracle you've ever seen, what would you say? I mean, think back to everyone you know that's asked for miracles and you go, man, that was a miracle. Well, that was a miracle. Well, what was that miracle for you? That's what I want you to believe in right now. I want you to begin to see that God does answer requests and he does answer our miracles. I was at church this weekend and I was standing at our prayer wall. Many of you have sent me your prayer requests to put in our prayer wall here at Influence Church. And he came up and he said, Pastor Tammy, can I just talk to you for a minute? He said, I put a prayer request in this wall three weeks ago. And two days afterward, I received a call that I've been praying for and believing God for, and God answered my request. It was a miracle. So the next day, I put another prayer request in the wall, and Pastor Tammy, you're not going to believe it, but three days later, it's a guy got another phone call, and I received the answer to my prayer request. And he said, there's something about this wall. And I said, well, there's something about our God. Our God wants to answer our prayers. And that's what I want you to know right now is we've been on this journey. It's been a fast. It's been something that you're doing. You're, you're abstaining from food. You're believing God for breakthrough. You're, you're pressing in for your miracle. You're reading the word of God. But I want to talk to you today about unbelief because so many of us struggle with unbelief. We go back and forth, back and forth. We believe God and we hope, but then we don't see anything and our faith wavers. And so that's what we want to talk about today. You know, in our miracle passage, we look at Matthew 9 and it's a beautiful passage in the book. I start off with this sentence. I love it. Make room for the girl is not dead, but she is sleeping. You see, everyone saw the little girl as dead. She was gone. There was nothing they could do. But then they brought Jesus in the room and something happens when you bring Jesus in the room. Your dead dreams come to life. Your dead circumstances come to life. But the problem was they didn't even think Jesus could perform the miracle. And that's why I started this conversation with you today. What do you really believe that Jesus can do? Do you really believe he can give you the answer to your prayer request? Do you really believe that your fasting for miracles works? Do you really believe in breakthrough? And as we go through the story, you'll read through it today. Make sure you read through it a lot. Um, God wants to say some things to you, but this is when your miracle gets real. When it seems like there are no answers, when God doesn't seem like he's coming through, but he wants to resurrect your faith. He wants to make all things new. He wants you to really press in. So again, as you read through this today, ask yourself and go deep in everything you believe, your faith and your presuppositions and your conviction, what do you believe? And then I've said to you before, make sure that you are writing the evidence of your miracle. My particular miracle, I haven't seen the whole thing yet, but I literally am writing down all the evidences right now of everything I'm seeing coming through. God, you are doing this. I am seeing this. Oh, I saw this. Oh, this is coming through. And what that does, it activates my faith. Remember we talked about faith and how faith has to be stirred up and how it has to be activated so that you can press into that. So that's what today's story is about. So make sure as you read through that and you realize this little girl was resurrected. Jesus wants to resurrect your dreams. He wants to resurrect direct your life. He wants to bring new, new breath into your life. Well, let's talk a little bit about our fasting focus for today. And I love this story. It's in Mark 9. And we talked a little bit about the passage of the boy and how he really just needed to be healed. Jesus needed to speak life into him. So you see today we're talking a lot about healing. And I want you to know God wants to bring healing to you. God wants to bring healing to your heart. He wants to bring healing to your marriage. He wants to bring healing to your children. You have to know that Jehovah Rapha, our healer God, wants to heal you. 
But what I want to talk about today in our fasting focus is how he came to this father and he looked at him and he said, do you believe, do you have faith? Now, now stay with me right here. Do you have faith? And the father says, I have faith, Jesus, but help my unbelief. And I love the honesty of this father because at this very moment, he had nowhere else to go but Jesus. Nowhere else to go. The disciples couldn't do it. The Pharisees couldn't do it. They were all fighting at the beginning of that scripture passage about whether Jesus could do it, who he really was. And they were trying to find someone to help with this little boy. And the father looks and he says, I have nowhere else to go but you, Jesus. Right now, I believe because you're my only hope. Yes. But would you help me in those times of my unbelief? And the reason I like this passage, because it's very real. There are times in my life I am strong in my faith. I am unwavering in my faith. I will not move. I know God's coming through and everything in me says, I am waiting, I'm expecting, I'm believing. But then I wait and I wait and I wait and I don't see anything. And I'm waiting and waiting. And people are saying to me, maybe it's not coming, Tammy. Maybe you misunderstood. Or they'll say something to me like, maybe this is what God has for you. Maybe you're supposed to go through this. You know, maybe it's supposed to just strengthen you and they'll help. They actually try to talk me out of my belief. And that's what I believe this father was saying. Help my unbelief. Help me in the times where I'm struggling with belief. Help me in the times of my life where I waver with my belief. And that's where we are right now. I'm telling you what, we have talked a lot in these last few days together about what has happened since 2020. When this pandemic hit us, and I believe that the enemy came and he brought things like fear and dissension to us, confusion, that's exactly where we are right now. The church is not standing in belief. Believers aren't standing strong in their conviction. I believe we become very docile. I believe the cares of the world and the burdens of the world have become too big for us. And I want to say to you right now, these passages today, the healings, um, the, the faith that God wants to stir in you. This is where you are. This is when it gets good, my friend. We are just a few days until we complete our fast, until our 21 day is fast uh, is up. And you might even want to say, I'm going to continue. I really want to go more than my 21 days. I don't have my answer yet, but my faith has been activated. You might want to extend your fast. Many people do, but I know that God wants to do something in you. He wants to stir something. There's a mighty move of the spirit happening right now. I received a call this morning from a woman and she said, Pastor Tammy, I feel something happening here in California. Do you feel it? I feel that people are moving in the spirit realm like I've not seen them. I believe that churches are singing like they haven't sang. Preachers are preaching like they haven't preached before. There is a movement. And I said, you know why? Because you're looking for it. You know, we, we find what we look for. If you're looking for a dead life, you will find a dead life. If you're looking for resurrection, you will find resurrection. So I'm telling you right now, begin to move in that realm. Speak it and say it and see it. See what God wants you to see, that divine revelation from heaven. God wants to move in your life. Amen. So new things are coming. Dead things are coming to life. God is moving in our midst to create and declare it. All right, my friend, well, let's look together at our prayer for today. Now, make sure, I know you guys have done a great job. Make sure you go through every single one of your days and you're journaling your thoughts. It's very important because you're one, you're going to want to go back and say, what was I thinking on that day? How was I processing on that day? And all those discussion questions, make sure that you answer those. These were written with you in mind for you to begin to think and stir over those fasting focuses for the day and those miracle stories. So let's look together at our closing prayer prayer. Dear Lord, I want to see breakthrough and power. I know how much I need healing and hope. God, I ask in faith that you do a miracle. I will continue to trust and obey along the journey. You alone are worthy of praise and honor. In Jesus name. Amen. Make sure you pray that prayer over yourself a few times today. You might want to underscore some things. You may want to circle some things. You might want to write some scriptures in the margin of your book. But again, these prayers are for you to recite over and over yourself. This is a day for healing. This is a day for hope. This is a day for breakthrough. This is a day for faith. This is a day to stir your soul. God's got great things in store for you. Get that miracle out in front of you. Look at it. See it complete. See it finished in Jesus' name. Good things are coming your way. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Stay strong. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Share your testimony with someone today. God is doing great things.
Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.